By its very nature, a hot air gun is hot. You must keep it moving around when you work the wax, otherwise you'll blow holes like this, pushing the wax aside, and worse still, you can burn the card. Sometimes it pops. So this is getting very hot and unresolvable. Be careful. First of all, start by putting clear wax all over the card that you're going to work onto. This is to help it flow. Next, add colours. Here we started with lighter colours in the middle, and these can then be blown out over the darker colours around the edges later on. It's just an easy way to begin with. You can wipe it on or dribble it off. Once you've done that, take your card and put it onto a rigid base support covered with waste paper, and then start heating it with a hot air gun. Keeping that gun moving around all the time until the wax starts to flow. And once it does start to flow, you tilt and pan the card in order to move the wax around, to let it go where you want it to go. First of all, try and cover the whole card, make sure every area is covered, and then you can start actually working the light into the image, because that's what you're doing, you're creating a light-filled background. Keep on working, tilting, panning, blowing, cover all the edges, make sure that uh, that gun keeps moving all the time, and then you'll get the best possible effect. And when you like the look of uh, the, the light that you've created inside of your swirl, then you can just let the thing go flat and rest. Once it's cool, it can be developed.